We are here looking at two areas that the Clarendon Club used for cycling in years gone by. They have plans of uh, refurbishing these locations and probably putting in proper cycling tracks to, to bring back cycling to the community. The mayor here in Maypen has been working with the club and is spearheading the drive to get at least one of the locations refurbished. And all of this was part of the discussions leading up to and during, discussions held during our um, first annual club retreat where the clubs were asked to talk about what they were doing in their communities, what are the plans they have for the future. So this is one of the big ticket items for the Clarendon Club. So um, President um, Dave Brissett, Prince, has been taking us around in his community, showing us the, the new roads in the community, what is possible for cycling. So Dave, you are the president of the Clarendon Cycling yes, yes, yes. Club. You used to ride here to tell us what it used to be back then. Well, in my days, you used to ride in. Most of my riding didn't do right here in Mitchell Town. Most of my riding did in Basi Park, Lionel Town. But after I found Mitchell Town and come here and, and find this track in a lot of bush, and we put it to the mayor and he helped us get out this track and we put it together. And it was amazing after we get it out and start racing and the community was behind us a lot. So down here was a very good place where we have the, the concrete track, we have the track behind us where we put in the BMX track. And but you know we need a lot of re renovation now to get it back together. But so that we need a lot of help and I think they may have get some estimate from some some uh, different people but we need the help now to from the federation to go forward to get this up and running again i miss where we're going to can start up something and see what can 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 take place yes. you understand yes. because you i think the community would come out and support yes baby yes baby no joke about it you see sunday evening sport you can't you can oh lady old man Young people, worse. You, you can't, you can't have them. The worst of a Sunday evening sport are going on. You can't have them. This is some of the things that the federation is hoping that we can do with the various clubs. Um, look at the facilities that they have. Look at the plans that they have, and see how we can work with them, support them to get community support and really get cycling back at the local community level. So on June 23rd, we had the first ever club retreat. We asked all the clubs to have two representatives attending this retreat. And this retreat, which was held at the Spanish Court Hotel, was aimed at giving the clubs an update as to what the Federation has been doing since um, the new executive took office in November 2017. It was also an opportunity for the clubs to be updated on information such as the life insurance policy that is provided for riders through the Ministry of Sports. So they got information that was new to them and very encouraging. Um, Mr. Chris Issa from the Spanish Court uh, shared his ideas. He's also a rider, a recreational rider, and very interested in the sport. So he shared his ideas as to how cycling can work with tourism and how um, ideas can turn can be turned into projects and opportunities at the community level.
And then the clubs were asked to spend some time thinking through their own plans. What is it that they are doing now? What is it that they want to do in the future? And how the Federation can support them in getting these things done. So we looked at things like youth development, women riding, increasing the number of rides, um, sponsorship, making your club a fun club, and a number of things. So it was a very animated, very beneficial um, retreat. All the participants, 100% of them, when we did our evaluation afterwards, said that it was a very good idea. This is something that we should have on an annual basis, basis as it allowed them a voice to talk about what they were doing and also to learn what their other clubs were doing and, and, and to learn and grow from each other. I speak on behalf of One Love Cycling. My name is Jennifer Hilton. Everybody knows me as Storm. Um, just to thank everybody that put this event together, this retreat together um, today, where we had the opportunity to meet with other members of other clubs, leaders of other clubs, and associations with tourism and the Jamaica Cycling Federation. It was a great opportunity to share thoughts and ideas the retreat was well put together, very, very informative, and they shared um, what the board has been doing both locally and internationally in getting the Jamaica Cycling Federation back on track um, with cycling. Everybody here has left with more knowledge and has left with a better sense of community and hope for the future of cycling in Jamaica. Thank you so much.